War of 1812. That's what we'll talk about today. I hope you're going to have a nice 2013. And this will be the last in that series of history videos I've been doing for the week and a half. You have to see the period from about 1750 at the end of the French-Indian War to 1815 at the end of the War of 1812 as one continuous period of quasi-war with Britain in which our ability to establish ourselves as an independent country had not fully been established. Britain claimed that it was going to do what the United States needed, and it claimed that the United that it was going to recognize us as our own country. But they didn't. Uh, they constantly wanted us to come back. And they were quite convinced that just as the people that were in favor of monarchy in Britain had restored the monarchy after a period of Cromwellian rule for 20 years, they figured the same thing would happen in the United States, that the government would collapse and come running back to Britain. The United States understood that the British were totally contemptuous of us and had no real respect for us. Um, and in the meantime, Britain was occupied fighting Napoleon in Europe, and the Americans figured this was a good time to go to war with Britain. So we declared the War of 1812, and it was literally a declared war. The declaration of war passed by only a few votes in the Senate uh, because there was strong sentiment against it. And the people of New England, who were largely dependent on trade with Britain, strongly opposed it and even met in Hartford to consider seceding from the country. Well, the war was a disaster at the start. The U.S. had plans to invade Canada uh, and uh, it just had terrible leadership, terrible coordination. It had no army worth talking about. It had no reserves and uh, it was just a debacle. Uh, the British then landed in the Chesapeake Bay occupied Washington, burned the White House, burned the Capitol, sent the president scurrying. Uh, then they went up to Maryland to try to do the same thing in Baltimore, and Fort McHenry held out that gave birth to the Star Spangled Banner, and they couldn't occupy Baltimore, so they retreated back to the ocean. And it looked like a total disaster. So the U.S. basically sued for peace, and we sent ambassadors who negotiated with Britain the Treaty of Ghent, uh, G-H-E-N-T, in 1814 that ended the war. It solved nothing. Uh, none of the issues that started the war were addressed in the Treaty of Ghent. Just basically said the war is over. But in 1815, not knowing that the Treaty of Ghent had been signed, the British sent one of their strongest forces under one of Wellington's best generals to invade New Orleans. And they moved up the, up the Mississippi River and Andrew Jackson met them in New Orleans and decisively defeated the British, and I mean decisively, something like 4,000 enemy casualties and 10 American casualties. It was incredible. And that gave the American people a feeling that we had won the war. In fact, it had nothing to do with it because the war had been settled earlier. But that gave America a tremendous confidence in our independence and it gave Britain a sobering sense of its inability to subdue the American Republic. And that really <coughs> was the end of the American Revolutionary period. Thanks a lot for watching.